Hello and welcome. The problem on the board is a very common question seen in most university admission examinations. And in such examinations, oftentimes, calculators are not allowed. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you a very easy way to solve this problem. Now, what we are going to do is that we will choose one number between these four numbers that is very easy to work with. And of course, you know that that number is going to be 30 because it's easy for us to divide this number and it's easy for us to find the square of this number. Now, when we choose this number, we are going to call it X or any other letter of your liking. So let 30 be equal to X. And then this question is now going to be 28 is 30 minus 2. So here we have X minus 2. 29 is 30 minus 1. So this is going to be x minus 1. Of course, we have x, which is 30. 31 is 30 plus 1. So here we have x plus 1. And then we have plus 1. Now let us rearrange this. Here we have x minus 2. Let us move this x plus 1 to sit next to to x minus 2. So here we have x plus 1. We still have x here and we have x minus 1. Then of course we have plus 1. Now what we are going to do is that we will expand this and then we will expand this. So when we do that, this square root becomes x times x is x squared. x times 1 is x. Minus 2 times x is minus 2x. And minus 2 times 1 is minus 2. Now, when we multiply these two, we have x squared. That is this and this. And then we have x times minus 1 is minus x. Then, of course, we still have plus 1. Now, from here, we have x squared plus x minus 2x is going to give us minus x. And then we have minus 2. Then here we have x squared minus x. And then of course we still have plus 1. Now when you look at these two, you're going to see that here we have x squared minus x. And here we also have x squared minus x. So let us do another substitution. Let d be equal to x squared minus x so that this square root is now going to be here we have d minus 2 multiplied by d plus 1 now this is going to be equal to d times d is d squared minus 2 times d is minus 2d and then we have plus one. Now look at this. Let us write this as one squared. Of course, you know that one squared is equal to one. Notice that this can be written as d minus one squared. Because of course, if we expand this, we are going to have d squared. 2 times d times minus 1. That is going to give us minus 2d. And then we have minus 1 squared, which is going to give us that. But most importantly, this square is now going to take, up, take care of the square root. And when we do that, the final answer will now be what? d minus 1. But of course, we know that d is x squared minus x. So this is going to be x squared minus x and of course minus 1 and of course we know that x is equal to 30 so this is going to be 30 squared minus 30 minus 1 30 squared is 900 so we have 900 minus 31 now 900 minus 30 is 870 870 minus 1 is 869. So we have that the square root of the product of 28, 29, 30, and 31 
plus 1 is equal to 869 and we have found this without using calculators or doing very large multiplications and with that you come to the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel leave us a thumbs up to support the channel it greatly helps thanks for watching and see you in the next video